Hi, this is Cooper with Native Instruments. In this video, I'm going to show you how to configure the audio and routing settings in Guitar Rig 6. First of all, open Guitar Rig in standalone mode. In plugin mode, your DAW is responsible for all audio interface and routing settings. If you have already loaded some components in the rack, you can remove them by selecting the component and by pressing the delete button if you are using Windows, or function plus backspace if using a Mac. Now, click the three dots next to the Guitar Rig 6 logo in the top left corner and choose File, Preferences. Next, choose the Audio tab. Here, you are able to define which audio interface will be used with Guitar Rig. To do this on a Mac, simply click the box next to Device and choose the interface you want to use. In this example, we're using a Complete Audio 6. On a Windows computer, first in the box next to Driver, choose ASIO. Then, just as on a Mac, click the box next to Device and choose your audio interface. In the box next to Sample Rate, you can choose the sampling rate for your audio signal. The sample rate defines how many times per second your audio signal is analyzed. Here, we recommend using 44100 if you have no specific reason to use a higher sampling rate. In the latency section, you can set the buffer size. A larger value will lessen the load on your system by increasing the time available to the computer to perform all necessary audio calculations. When recording, latency can be understood as the time delay between inputting a sound and hearing it through your audio interface. Begin with a low setting and increase the value if you hear any pops or clicks. On Windows, you can adjust the buffer size by clicking the ASIO Config button. This will open the ASIO control panel for your audio interface, where you can adjust the buffer settings. Next, under Inputs, make sure the input you've selected is the same as the physical input that your guitar or other instrument is connected to. In this example, a guitar is connected to input 1 of the Complete Audio 6, so in the box next to Guitar Rig 6 in L, we're selecting 1, input 1. Now, click on Outputs. Here, make sure you've selected the outputs which are connected to your speakers. Now, when you close the Preferences window and play your guitar, you should hear a clean signal. If you don't hear anything, make sure the volume knob on your guitar is turned up, as well as the input level of your audio interface. Check also that the L or R button in the input selector is active, depending on whether the guitar signal is fed into the left or right input. The IN slider should be set at around 0.0 dB. And the gate should be activated in cases where you wish to suppress any unwanted background noise. If you can hear a signal, your configuration is now complete. If you still cannot hear any audio, but the input meter is showing a signal, double check the output and turn up the out slider accordingly. If you still cannot hear anything, open the tuner and make sure the mute button is not active. If this also doesn't help, try turning the preset volume all the way up. If you still cannot hear a signal, please refer to the articles linked below this video 